inside this greenhouse, scientific magic is taking place. Solid waste, including food generated by the university's residences, go through several processes to be broken down. It's similar to how the gut of a cow would work, or more correctly, an anaerobic digestive system. This system breaks the waste down to, among others, biogas. The carbon dioxide generated by it is then used as a nutrient to grow an algae. So the algae takes up the carbon dioxide and what comes out, the gas that comes out is pure methane. And that methane can be used to either generate electricity or it can be used to cook gas in the system. The wastewater that is generated by the digester system is still full of nutrients because if you think about it, we're putting food waste into the system. So those nutrients can be used to, as nutrients for plant growth. Besides the gas, the nutrient-rich effluent stream is channeled through a vertical farm. This is the practice of growing plants in an air or mist environment. It's hoped it can be implemented at the university's buildings. We have generated models so that we can actually maximize the cooling effect of these systems so we know what the distance of it from the wall should be to maximize the cooling as well as insulation during winter. But you can also reduce your energy there because it keeps the, system wall, uh, the energy within that space as well. Ultimately, the research team wants the concept to be taken to the public to use more bio-based solutions yes. and to be implemented anywhere within communities, in neighbourhoods. Anyone can generate it. The only issue is that we've got to worry about the smell of the anaerobic digester. But it is simple technology and can be, anyone can use it. So using it on campus is a start. Using communities, I hope, is where it eventually lands up to be used because we know those resources are limited within communities. The project is part of a campus-wide effort to support the environmental sustainability goals of the university. Mariska Boeta, SABC News, Cape Town.